New at five protests over the stay at home order in downtown Raleigh today, despite the ban on mass gatherings. And during the ban on mass gatherings, more than 100 people came together in downtown Raleigh to protest the governor's executive order. After almost two hours, one woman was arrested as police ordered everyone to leave. That woman, Monica Ussery of Holly Springs, she's charged with violating an executive order. Our Capitol reporter Michael Highland is live in Raleigh. And Michael, some of the people there want the governor to drop the stay-at-home order. Right, he says doing that would be a catastrophe, using his words, and that the order is helping to slow the spread of COVID-19. But today, people came here to this parking lot across the street from the General Assembly, waving signs, honking their horns, saying they're concerned some of their businesses won't survive. A protest during a pandemic. You are in violation of the executive order. Protesting people violating your rights is illegal now. More than 100 people gathered in downtown Raleigh Tuesday. There are some people who are just horribly, horribly suffering. Courtney Fitzpatrick came here from Wilmington. You can't call things so early, and it can cause hysteria. Um, but say, hey, come May 1st, we can open this up, we can open that up. Give people hope. Using the hashtag ReopenNC, some people want Governor Roy Cooper to rescind his stay-at-home order. Dennis Burgard says he just wants a clearer plan for how the state's economy will reopen. We have a lot of people who are trying to plan for the future, but there's no plan. While some people stayed in or near their cars, others gathered outside, with police urging them initially to stay at least six feet apart. An hour later, as the crowd grew, police told them to leave or risk getting arrested, which one woman was. These officers are just doing their job, hey, and I'm just doing mine. This all happened as the state saw its largest daily jump so far in deaths tied to COVID-19. DHHS Secretary Mandy Cohen says despite that, the rate of the disease spreading is slowing. Our efforts to stay at home are working. It is slowing the spread. But the second is that I don't see a peak um, at this moment in time. The stay-at-home order lasts for another two weeks. The governor says he's consulting experts on whether to extend it. Despite police breaking up the protest today, the protesters say they plan to come back here next Tuesday. Live in Raleigh, Michael Hyland, CBS 17 News.